All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna do a quick world world tour of uh, of our uh, survival world. Uh, just just giving just a video of showing you guys some main things we've built. Because uh, I guess we we have a decent amount of things. I obviously I can't I can't cover everything that we've built because I just well, I mean I, it would take a long time and I don't most of it's not really important or anything. So yeah. Anyways, uh. So one of the m really important places, obviously, is the uh, shopping area. Uh, this is located at approximately 200, 200 coordinates, I guess. Uh, so it's near the world spawn. Um, and basically, we just have a ton of shops here. Uh, it, it's pretty chaotic here. There's like a ton of stuff here. I uh, don't like. Yeah, a lot of people have their own shops here. Um, we got. A, we even have a pixel art of a toad and some weird emoji head. I mean, we, we got all the stuff, and a pig. Uh, so some of the few shops, or, uh, so the few, the shops that I currently own are, uh, or is this shop right here, uh, the, which is this big anvil, um, we sell enchanted books, all types of enchanted books. Uh, yeah, pretty nice, uh, we price them at, I think, a good price, one diamond for each book, and two diamonds for these books, mainly just because they're kind of a pain to get. Because my uh, villagers, they don't really trade Fortune 3 or Fortune uh, Thorns 3, and they give me... So it is a little bit harder for me to get them, so I charge two diamonds for these. I also used to own this shop right here. Um, this used to be a shop, the Hogland shop, where we'd sell stuff from Hogland. It's a pretty ugly store. Um, but the Hogland farm kind of got deleted uh, when, we were snippy, uh, when we were cropping up the nether for the newer updates. And we accidentally deleted the Hogland farm, so this is kind of out of business now. Another shop we, I own, at least, um, or co-own, I guess. I'm splitting the profits with this person named X3R. Uh, we work together on this project. Um, but is the gold shop. Uh, we Obviously, we have a gold farm on the server, and we sell the gold we get by selling enchanted golden apples, golden blocks, and we're kind of out of stock for the golden apples at the moment. Uh, over here is a machine that I made. I actually, um, uh, a person on the server named, uh, Lieutenant Monkey, he helped me with this. Uh, and this is our, uh, I guess like a little mini game. Oh, I fell into it. Uh, it's, it's a pretty fun little mini game. Basically, actually, I'll just play it out. I'll just play one round of it for you guys. It's, it's quite the fun mini game. Uh, you basically get a diamond block. Uh, need to craft that real quick. And you throw it somewhere into the water stream. Now, it goes through these levels of water that'll randomize the diamond block and send it to different places. And eventually, the diamond block should shoot up somewhere in that back wall. Or not. I think it might have been broken. I think it might... I uh, don't know. Someone might have messed with it, and it might be broken at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah, I got. Oh wait, never mind. Just got stuck. But um, basically, uh, you just throw the diamond block. It would go into somewhere inside of the. It would go somewhere uh in here. Now, obviously, the middle, which is diamond block, that's like the highest tier. It's like the most. It's like the best one. Now you get really good stuff from that. Oh, Alright, so you see how I just got a wood tier. Wood tier is like the worst loot box. Uh, and we even have like these sound effects. I think you've heard, you heard that for uh, each one. Uh, see, this is kind of garbage. You got to keep the shulker box if you want to. Um, or you can return it here for three diamonds. You get to return it. Um, and yeah, basically we have uh, different the, the different tiers and all these music for each one. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, this has actually made a lot of diamonds for us, uh, as you can see. Actually, like, we can check the profits right now on what we've gotten. Oh, jeez, like, 31 diamond blocks right there. That's, like, a few stacks of diamonds we made. It's pretty nice, although I do split it with, uh, Lieutenant Monkey. But, yeah, it, this is a pretty nice store. I like it. It's, it's fun, and, yeah, it makes some decent sales. Um... Actually, I should probably grab my diamond block back. That is just a ruin here. Uh, we, I, I have one more store that I built. This is, uh, I, I own this by myself. 
I, I'm obviously, this is a, not really a full-on sword, just a temporary little thing that I made, because I really needed diorite and andesite, or, to, or actually, I needed andesite, but because, uh, you can craft andesite out of diorite, I also wanted diorite. Uh, it's really ugly, uh, it does not look nice at all. I'm obviously going to take this down once I get enough andesite. But basically, I just, uh, I basically are, I'm, I'm buying, uh, andesite or diorite. So they would, uh, so the customers would take the diamond out of here and put in two stacks of andesite or diorite. And it's a book explaining all this stuff. Um, another store that, or not really, this is actually not really a store. This is just something that people use. Uh, I made this post office. I think it looks not too bad. Uh, when we go in here, you can see there's, a. Uh, there's like these uh, barrels with a light underneath it, has everyone's name, um, and like there's um, lights that show whether or not you have mail. Uh, some, everyone likes to like pass around just random pieces of paper with stuff on it, uh, which is kind of fun uh, to check out. And yeah, I recently just checked my mail, so I don't have anything. Um, we also, this is also, uh, actually if you would, actually I can show you this. We, we can also actually... Um, uh, put our, put the share of, uh, or we, I, I split my diamonds with, um, X3R on the Enchanted Bookshop. And so I'd put the, i put this profits he makes right here, because I don't want to go all the way to his base and drop it off there every single time. So, yeah, so it's, it's pretty useful for that as well. Um, I'll just show you some other noteworthy shops, I guess. They're, they're not exactly owned by me or anything they're just shops that i go to a lot so you'd know what they are uh, this is a rocket shop although i did recently make a gunpowder farm uh so i don't really use it anymore that often uh over there the guardian farm uh very nice uh sells sea lanterns and all sorts of guardian stuff for a decent price which uh it's very nice over here is a coliseum um it's a very impressive building it's quite large uh, at the moment, there's no, no real purpose for it, but, uh, it's cool, I guess. This is some, uh, floating island that someone on our server named Bruh made. Uh, it's actually, it looks really nice. I, I really like this island. Um, cool house and cool island. Um, over here we got, oh, yeah. So over here we got the iron store. Uh, it's quite the small store, but it sells iron, which is very useful. Uh, although, I don't really use it, because I have my own iron farm, which I'll show you in a moment. Or, when I mean moment, I mean a while. Um, uh, I mean, all these stores are pretty nice and cool, but I guess I don't really have time to show all of them. Uh, over there's a honey farm that I co-own with a person named Crafty Kitty, although I, we haven't really restocked it in a while. Um... And that's about it, I guess. Uh, there's like the farmer's market as well. Uh, you sell like wool and all sorts of stuff. That's pretty nice. Uh, Alright, moving on from the shopping district. Uh, I'll show you guys the nether real quick. Actually, I think I'll just go over to fly over to my old base. Um, this is my first base when I first started on the server. Uh, actually, I, we, I, I kind of made help, worked on this base with a person named X3R. Uh, which is actually also the reason why I co-own a lot of the businesses with them. Some of the stuff I made here, we, uh, we made together. So, first off, the most important building that I have here is actually the only reason why I even ever come back here. Is the Villager Trading Hall for the Ancient of Books. Um, X3R helped, helped me with this, and obviously that's why we're sharing the, uh, profits at least. Uh, yeah, so there's, uh, there's like these villagers. Um, later on, I kind of expanded it into three different floors because I kind of I needed more villagers to trade more things. So we have like all sorts of villagers. We have some stone masons here, and a bunch of uh, clerics here. This is where I trade my gold from a gold farm that I have, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, for emeralds, which is pretty nice. Uh, over here, I just got some spare villagers that I have. Uh, not really using them at the moment, but they're nice to have at least if I ever need them. Uh, other than that, oh, I have my sheep farm here, uh, or wool farm, I guess. It's very useful. Uh, it's, it's, like, super small and really simple, and it produces a lot, so I like it. Um, over there, over down here, this is our little, like, bunker, I guess, we had for a while. Um, we just have, 
It's really simple. We don't have much stuff. This is the AFK fish farm. Uh, we can't really use it anymore because it got patched in the newer versions. Over here is the storage system that we used to have. Obviously, we don't really use this anymore because I have a new base. Uh, yeah, and down here we have a huge mine that I, 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 this is where I got a lot of my diamonds from. Uh, obviously I make a lot of diamonds from, like, shores in this as well, but I mined a lot here. Which, yeah, big source of my diamonds. Alright, next up I'll probably show you guys the nether. Um, uh, we, we haven't done too much in the nether. We, um, a person on the server named Bruh, he has made, uh, the, the same one who made the, uh, nice, uh, floating island with a house on it. He made a pretty nice looking, uh, little bridge around the nether and stuff. He, he did most of the design work for the nether, although we kind of expanded on later and we never really made it look nice. But if you see over here, uh, that's actually the spawn portal. I need to eat. Uh, this is a spawn portal right here. Um, and as you see, the bridge looks pretty nice. I like the look of it. Um, we have a ton of random, uh, a ton of random like pathways and stuff that lead to different portals. I don't have uh, the time to show you guys all of them. Uh, so this is the portal I came from. This is my old base's portal. Right next to it, over here, we have a little ladder that leads to the roof of the Nether. Uh, we we managed to break the bedrock. Um, actually, we used I used a design that from a, a channel called Ray's Works. Uh, he has some he has some videos on how to break the bedrock. That's what, what I use mainly for that. If you follow this line of torches, uh, you can actually get to the gold farm that we built. Oh, actually, over here's the basalt farm first. Uh, it's just a really, really efficient design that El Mango designed. Very cool. Um, insanely fast. Uh, and it's really simple, too. It's not that hard to make. And, it, yeah, it makes a lot of basalt, which is pretty nice. Uh, and whenever we need to repair our tools, this is where we have the gold farm. This one's actually also designed by El Mango. Uh, he has a lot of cool designs for a lot of things, so it's very cool. Um, but this is a gold farm. Uh, in El Mango's design, he has four layers. Uh, we were kind of lazy. We only did three layers, but it doesn't affect the race too too uh, too much. Uh, this this design works really really well. So you know, obviously, you can go see that on his channel. Uh, and if I just shoot a pigment here, oh, well, if I don't kill him. You can see how all the big men get angry, uh, and they fall into these little, uh, bunch of minecarts, which there are enough to entity cram the zombie villagers, or not zombie villagers, zombie pigmen, and they drop their XP, which is very nice, uh, although it is said that this might be patched in a, a newer version, or in the next update after 1.16, which, it is a little sad. Uh, anyways, this is our main source of gold, I guess, um. It's a very good design, uh, really nice, and pretty simple to be honest. It's a lot of blocks to place, but it's not that complicated. Alright, now if we go down again, if not, there used to be the Hoglin farm off, in, off over that direction, but uh, it kind of got deleted as I said earlier when we were kind of cropping the nether since there were some new updates and we wanted to check out the new nether stuff, and it kind of deleted it. Um, uh, oh, next up, I'll probably show you the end. We don't have that much in the end, except for this really nice iron farm that, um, uh, my friend on the server named, uh, X3R, uh, we worked on this, uh, really nice iron farm together. Uh, this one was also designed by Ray's Works, so you can see that on this channel. Um, it's really efficient, uh, and, yeah, I really like it. Uh, so if you look, uh, over here, this is our gold farm, I mean, iron farm. Actually, this is quite recent. We actually made this, like, last week. Uh, it's really, really simple. Uh, I did use Lightmatica for this, the mod Lightmatica, uh, just because a lot of this is kind of finicky, and we don't want to, it'd be, it's kind of annoying having to retransport villagers and stuff when you place them in the wrong place, so, yeah. We use Lightmatica for this build, um. But yeah, it turned out really well. It is really efficient. Um, yeah, like insanely efficient, actually. Uh, it makes us a lot of iron. We probably won't ever have to worry about iron again. We just have 
Like this is this is about like an hour of AFKing and or not an hour, but a few hours of AFKing and got that much. Really, really good. Um so that's about it for the end. We don't really have that much in the end. Not really we didn't really build too much here. We have fought the end dragons a bunch, so we have all the end gateways, which that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, and we ha we're not allowed to fight the Ender Dragon because if we do, the villagers might get killed by the Ender Dragon. And we do not want that. So yeah. Uh, back at spawn again. Um, next up, I'll probably show you my new base that I've been working on recently. I'm going for like this modern city kind of feel. Uh, I, I really think it looks pretty cool so far. I'm s it obviously it's still a work in progress. It's not finished, but uh, it's pretty nice. Now, obviously, everyone else has their own bases, but uh, I don't really have the time to show everyone's base, because that's going to take a while. Um, I can go through this portal, which is my new base portal. Uh, as you can see, this is like a city that I've been working on. It's pretty nice. Uh, someone built a tank here. It's actually a pretty good looking tank. I'm trying to think of a way to fit this into a build or something. Very nice. Um... So over here, actually I'll just fly around so you can see this a little better. But we got an apartment here. Um, actually a lot of people on the server have a room in this apartment that I made. It's pretty cool. We can like hang out there sometimes. There's like a little outlet mall over here. Uh, we have like a bar over here. Uh, and that's not really a shop at the moment. Neither is that. Over here we got my storage room. This is where I store all my items of course. Um, we have all sorts of stuff like... Uh, it's a lot of storage room, so it's very nice. Over here, we got my enchantment table. As you can, um, and we can flip this lever, and it'll turn into a max enchantment table, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, yeah. Uh, over here, if we fly out a little more, we got some stores over here. Most of these stores in the mall, they're kind of just joke stores. Um, I kind of just build them as a joke. They're not... If I, all the actual stores, I put them in the shopping district. But anyways, we got a game store where you can buy games, and they're five diamonds. Kind of overpriced, did not really do anything, they're just there for fun, I guess. Over here, we got some, uh, very questionable stores. Uh, that I don't think I'll show. Um, over here, we got the monkey store. Yes, a monkey store. Uh, he sells monkey heads, um, music discs. Banner Patterns, Guild of Blackstone, Obsidian, and Deal of the Week, although it's been sold out. Um, yeah, and that's a lot of monkey heads you can buy here. Pretty cool. Some Actually, the Deal of the Day is actually sometimes pretty nice. And the Obsidian. Over here, we got the Gucci store, or, gu gu yeah. Um, although, at the moment, everything is sold out except for the Gucci thighs. Oh, it's pretty nice. They're pretty expensive. Um, surprisingly, people actually bought them. Um, I'm kind of surprised about that. Over here's the mall. Uh, this is a. Uh, at the moment, I haven't really filled the mall in yet. Um, that's probably going to be a future project, I guess. This was um, a trident bidding thing that someone was trying to make, but they never actually got a trident. Or they did, but they didn't get enough to actually sell it. So, yeah, that's not really a thing anymore. Over here is the. Uh, I think I'm guessing the potion st store. Also, most of it sold out. There's some potions still left, like, and uh, yeah, some of them are renamed as Strong Wine. I don't know why, but they are. It's pretty nice. Over here's the Lego store. You can buy one piece of concrete or Lego, I guess, for uh, for three pick up bricks for 1.99 diamonds plus tax, two diamonds in total. Thank you. All right, yeah, so. Basically, all these stores are kind of joke stores, but it, but it's it's pretty fun to check them out sometimes. Uh, downstairs in the mall, we I've done literally nothing. Um, yeah, sadly, I've not really done anything. Over here's the parking lot. I haven't actually made the passageway into the mall yet, but uh, I, it's just still also a work in progress. Although I have like these daylight sensors on top of the lamps that make them so they only turn on during the night, which that's actually pretty cool. I like it. It was like super simple too. It's like no redstone or anything. Or, so that's cool. Uh, this is my apartment room right here. Uh, it's actually you can actually sit in here and uh, watch TV and stuff. Uh, same with the dining table and stuff and the kitchen table. Uh, over here is the toilet. For some reason, the minecart got pushed out of the my cauldron, so they can't really sit in the toilet anymore. 
Um, over here is my bedroom. Uh, I don't know why, but there's one one bed missing. I don't know where it went. I'm guessing there's a bed stealer on this server. Uh, yeah, and over here is my balcony. I, I just made the balcony so I can fly and use my elytra and not have to use the uh, elevator that I have. Or it's just a bottle. It's just a bubble elevator. Over here is the bank. God, guys. Uh, over here is the bank. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I use this three by three piston door. Kind of forgot who it was designed by, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, over here is my bank. Um, bank vault. I guess we have a vault for a uh, X3R. One for me. One for my sister, uh, Crack Kitty, and Tia Warrior. Um, and one for a Lieutenant Monkey. Uh, right now. Got it. Now, I actually have my key card left in my important goodie shulker box in my ender chest. If we throw this key card on this, uh, carpet right here, we'll see if we go over to my vault. It'll open up. And actually, this is where I keep all my diamonds. I have all my diamond ores and diamond blocks here. Um, this, this barrel is left from a scavenger hunt that we had earlier. I forgot to take it down, so I'll probably take it down now. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it'll automatically close by itself, and you get your key card back from right here. I put it back in my ender chest, or shulk box, that in my ender chest. I actually have a nice ender chest system where I just have a ton of shulker box renamed. It's pretty nice. It's pretty. It comes in handy, um, so I can like just take items whenever I need them. And I have Ender Chest in me, so I can always, you know, use those. Actually, let me close that real quick. Uh, that's about it for the bank. I can't really show you guys the other people's vaults because I don't really have their key cards. But over here is the uh, Creeper Farm. It does look a slightly weird, uh, but I, I and I'm trying to think of like what how to make this because it kind of. Feels a little strange, but I guess I can't really think of anything to do with it. Uh, but this is our creeper farm. Um, got some nice gunpowder in here. Very, very cool. Um, I didn't expect it to be a very that efficient. And it's not, we didn't even use like a like a design from someone or anything. I just uh, kind of did this on the spot with uh, someone named uh, Tindy on the server. Uh, but yeah, it turned out pretty nice, uh, pretty efficient as well. That was like one night of AFK, and we got like six double chests. Very, very cool. Over here is a coffee store, or I guess a... I don't really know what to call it, but a, a Lieutenant Monkey made this. It actually has some functionality, which uh, over here, there's an auto brewer that was designed by, I'm pretty sure, Il Mango. Uh, very, like, it's a pretty nice... Uh, uh, brewing system and it basically auto brews potions for him, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, over here I have a shooter game farm. I, I didn't actually make this. Um, X3R and a person named Vane25 they worked on this over here. Um, so I didn't actually make this sugar cane farm, but it, it's a, it's pretty nice to have because with the gunpowder and the sugar cane, we can make like infinite rockets basically. Over here is the concrete converter. We haven't actually made a building for both of these yet, so it's kind of ugly on the outside right now. Uh, we'll probably eventually make a building for this. Um, just too lazy. Uh, it's it's a concrete converter. Uh, you need to place in concrete powder, of course, like uh right in right here. Um, and also actually l later on, uh, we added in this little cobblestone generator i guess into this so it's also a co i guess a cobblestone farm not really any efficient or anything but uh, it's just nice to have whenever you need it um that's about it for over here actually wait no one more thing i need to just show uh over here we uh, have a piston bolt over here uh i think this was also designed by El mango uh i use a lot of stuff by him it's pretty he has some very nice stuff but uh this piston bolt it's about 1,900, or actually, I don't quite remember how long it is, but it's, it's pretty long. I'll actually show, the, I'll actually get on the minecart real quick and show you how it works. I'll probably time lapse this because it takes, it takes a decent while. But this leads all the way to spawn. Actually, I probably just cut out most of the clip.
All right, so yeah, I I, I cut, cut out most of the clip right here, um, just because it takes a while to get across. Um, so we're back at the shopping area. There's one more place that I'd like to show before we I end this little video, I guess, or tour, uh, which is this capture the flag thing we did on the server. Um, so basically, uh, I think a couple months ago we decided to do this like capture the flag, um, and we'd make like our own. We'd each make our, like, our own bases, and we would, uh, like, put all sorts of traps and puzzles and stuff, and we'd try to hide the flags and stuff. It was pretty fun, actually, uh, although it did kind of get a little heated towards the end of the, 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 or, I guess, the battle. And, um, it, it, everyone kind we kind of got a little bit toxic, um, sadly, uh, which was... A little bit disappointing, but uh, it was still fun, I guess. Um, it, it, we kind of ended up kind of turning into a PvP war thing where we PvP'd and then we try to get into the other people's bases, but um, it, it was still pretty fun. Um, I, our base, which I'll show you in a second, is this base right here. I'm actually quite proud of this. This took us a we, we we had a deadline of like two weeks, and I was kind of busy during this two these two weeks, so I wasn't actually able to like spend as much time as I wanted to, so that's why I'm still proud, that's why I'm proud of what we've done here so far, because it looks, it looks pretty nice, considering I, I wasn't able to get on for very long, um, on my team, I had some people, such, like, uh, Tia Warrior, Crack the Kitty, I had Lieutenant Monkey, we had Tindy, um, Sherman Cuffe, uh, and I think that's about it, on our team, uh, we basically, when you go inside, there's a back entrance, um, to actually get inside, there's like a huge maze, there's a bunch of huge puzzles and stuff, but I'll, that, that might be for a later video, um, the opponent base, um, visually wise, I think, uh, wasn't as cool, but they had some really, really cool traps and stuff in their base, um, and they, like, they even have these, like, carpet bombers, although they didn't do much, they're pretty cool. Uh, they even had, like, this room filled with zombies with armor. Uh, they're gone now, but it was really, it was really cool how they did that. Um, they had some underground systems and, like, all these sorts of really cool, uh, things. So, uh, it's very, very cool. Um, if we go over to, um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, and we also had, a, a little cave system that Tia Warrior mainly worked on. Uh, and, and also Crack the Kitty helped out a little. Uh, but this is a really cool cave system. It, there was actually no flag in here. It was just a really big, complicated cave system. That just wasted the opponent team's time, I guess. While we can get their flag while they're stuck in this cave. Which is pretty cool. Um. Anyways, I think that's about it for this world tour. I mean, there's obviously more stuff to show. Uh, and if I, for, if I forgot something, I might make another video or something. But for now, I think this is enough. Yeah, uh, anyways, it was fun.